Today we're going to talk about the application of law of lever in real life via the following experiments. The experiment tools are chopsticks, piece of paper, and a cup bottle of beers. And let us show how can we use the chopstick and piece of paper to open the bottle of beer using the full, using the law of lever. So um, the lever is a movable bar that pivots on the fulcrum attached to a fixed point. The lever operates by applying forces at different distance from the fulcrum or pivot. So um, assuming the lever doesn't dissipate or store energy, the power into the lever must equal the power out of the lever. As the lever rotates around the fulcrum, points further from this pivot move faster than pivots close to the pivot. Okay. Therefore, a force applied to the pivot further from the pivot must be less than the force located at the point closer in because power is the product of force and velocity. And we have to notice that the ratio of the weight moved to the weight moving in is the inverse ratio of the distance from the center. And the law of the lever shows why we can interpret the lever as a tool to amplify forces. Now let's see the Suppose here's the uh, object. <laughs> okay, suppose here's the object. So the object is objective of this experiment is to open the the cap. So let's see, suppose the sun is the pivot, the which you also call the fulcrum. And here's the bar, the chopsticks, and we can see the distance from the thumb to the cap is D1. Suppose, just imagine, it's D1. And um, the thumb, the distance from the thumb to my hand, the right hand, the distance here is D2. So the law of the level claims the force, the vertical force applied by my hands, multiplied by the distance from my thumb to my hands, to the, to the right hand will be equal to the distance from the cap to my thumb multiplied by the force of outputting which applied on the cap so let's see it's also called a torque actually so let's see whether we can open the cap by using the law of lever okay let's see So you can see I stick I stick my thumb around the bottle and let's see it's kind of hard. Okay. Ooh. Yes, succeed. And suppose according to the level of the principle, suppose I extend the distance from my thumb to the right hand, that means I can use the last force that's vertical force so to open the bottle but it's kind of hard because theoretically it'd be easier but because you extend the distance that means you have to put more force so that your chopstick can be stick to the bottle so give it the real life condition is kind of hard but maybe you're gonna use the more force since you, you're gonna use the extra uh, yes, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, as I said before, as long as you use the lever lower correctly, then that means you can open the bottle easier. So let's see like whether we can use another tool such as the piece of the paper to open the beer of bottle. And as long as you know how to use the Law of lever, and of course you have to make your paper harder, no more hard. Since if you use the stuff the paper, you won't open the bottle. And as you can see, I can I keep folding so that it can be hard enough. Uh, you can see 
Actually, if this is the bar, it's like just imagine as a chopstick that I used in the previous experiment. And the same principle here, like the thumb is the fulcrum, and I try to use it to open it. Okay. Just make sure it's hard. And then, yeah, okay. Good. In the previous two experiments, as long as you use the law of lever correctly, then you can use the piece of paper and the chopsticks to open a beer bottle. But you can think about more, like you can use other tools while using the law of lever, then you can open the bottle of beer bottle as well.